What is gas fee in Ethereum? The price of a transaction explained. All right, let's talk about one of the most confusing parts of using Ethereum, gas fees. You've seen the transaction costs, but what are they and why do they change so much? Today, we're going to break down gas fees with a simple analogy. Let's get to the bottom of it in under two minutes. The highway analogy. Think of the Ethereum blockchain as a busy highway. Every time you want to make a transaction, like sending crypto, minting an NFT, or using a DeFi app, you have to pay a toll to get on the highway. This toll is called a gas fee. You pay this fee in Ether, and it goes to the network's validators who do the hard work of processing and verifying your transaction. Why gas fees are necessary. Gas fees aren't just an extra cost. They're essential for the network's health. They serve two main purposes. Incentivize validators. They reward validators for using their computing power to keep the network secure and running smoothly. Without these fees, no one would be motivated to do this work. Prevent spam. By attaching a cost to every transaction, gas fees make it too expensive for malicious actors to spam the network with useless transactions and slow it down. What makes fees so volatile? The amount you pay in gas is determined by a simple principle, supply and demand. When the network is busy, high demand, everyone is trying to get their transaction processed at the same time. This creates a bidding war, and the transaction with the highest gas fee gets processed first. That's why fees can be so high during peak times. So, while gas fees might be a pain, they are the vital fuel that keeps the Ethereum network secure, decentralized, and resistant to attacks. If you found this explanation helpful, give us a like and subscribe for more essential crypto insights. What other crypto terms confuse you? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.